form affinity. Where the dying takes form. Hey guys, welcome to another Form Affinity video. Um, today we're going to talk about version 3.3 of the Maya config. So um, go ahead and grab that from the Gumroad page if you're interested. Uh, got a lot of new features for you. Um, also, you'll notice uh, in the package for 3.3, there's a new uh, special tools Python file. So be sure to include that. Um, You'll want all of these guys, but that's that's the new Python file. Um, so let's walk you through it. Um, first, on the left side, you'll notice that uh, instead of Maya, we're calling uh, this display panel just uh, whatever version the config is in. So. Uh, as, as you download these in the future, um, you'll be able to look and see what version you're using, just, just right here. Also under extras, I've added, a, per one of uh, the comments, uh, someone requested that I add an industry standard key map. So you can hop between Blender, Maya, and industry standard. So if you're working, say, in uh, I don't know, <clears throat> UV edit mode or sculpting, and you want to jump from my end to industry standard, you can do that for various reasons. All right, guys, so this next feature I'm really excited about, uh, it is our special tools, that Python script that I mentioned earlier. So if I go into uh, component mode here and select a, a vertex, for instance, and I shift right click, Come, brings up this special tools menu um, and I, essentially I'm going into vertex special so I've got all these uh, tools for editing the, the vertices and basically what it is is this guy up here and it brings it to wherever your mouse is so you're not having to go around you know when you're modeling it brings it all to your fingertips and just like Maya had that shift right click for uh, special tools um, and the other really cool thing about it is that it's context sensitive so if I select an edge and do the same thing shift right click I have a edge special all right same thing with face shift right click face special and then at the bottom of all these menus, you have a mode switch. So you saw I was going back and forth between um, marking menu to, to navigate, basically. Well, I can switch right inside of here. So now I'm in edge, shift right click, faces, and then of course object mode. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about this uh, addition to the config. I think it will really speed up your workflow. So really quickly, let's see it uh, in action here. Uh, I'm gonna select a face, delete that. So let's say we wanted to ex extrude one of these edges. I'm gonna go into special tools and extrude that edge. All right, so you can see it works there. I select a face, go into special tools, extrude faces. All right, so really streamlined and easy. All at, all at your fingertips there. So the one caveat to, to having this feature is that if I turn on 3D cursor, um, <clears throat> Blender's default for the 3D cursor to move it was that shift right click um, and of course we've got that set to special tools so now I've changed that to control shift right click and you'll see it's moving when I hold down control and shift um, and then of course I can center that back there with that button right there alright guys so that's pretty much it for uh, this update 
uh, for version 3.3 of the config. Uh, if you have any questions at all or any suggestions for the config, uh, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And um, I will leave a link to the Gumroad page to download this guy. And um, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of work went into this config and this update in particular. So um, thank you all so much for using it. I hope that it helps your your Blender experience uh, go more smoothly. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you next time. Thanks.